Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. So I had this guy come in. This is a four-stroke Tahatsu. Fifteen whole power. And the guy said it's been sitting for at least ten years. And it says it's froze up, I says. Has it been submerged? Oh no. I said it's a four stroke. It's got an oil sump. Oh, it's just been sitting. Well, it looks like it's been sitting. Plug ain't all rusty. Well, crusty. But they've been out of there before. Before me. They were almost just barely finger loose. That one looks different. Now one's all oily and wet. Could that bottom cylinder be hydro locked? I don't know. This one is nice and tan and clean. These are NGK DC PR6E. So, so the plugs are out. Still quite seized. So let's pull off this recoil. Yeah, she's a little salty here and there. It is a nice day out here.
Well, I would say he's right. It's been sitting. Man. I don't know if we'll be able to see spark in there. Why would that do that? With this sun shining on it, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got good spark. If I can get some shade in here. Watch these top two right here. So. Turns over and over and over. Who knows? Who knows? I noticed they were messing with the tilt on this thing for quite a while before they uh, got it on this stand incorrectly. Yeah, it's all jammed up, froze up probably. There's a tension or not. And throttle. 
move. Not good. I don't know why she won't let down. That's your midpoint. It's probably just froze up. A little bit of oil in there, but it's tilted way forward. What's that? It's not in the lock. Well, that's all I really wanted to see today is if it's uh, was going to turn over. Um, you can look at that carburetor. Crap everywhere. Salt and yuck. So, yeah, she's been put away all salty and everything. The throttle does work but it's really stiff but it works got some dust some yuck I even think there might be a Creepy crawly in there, what gonna get me? Close her down good. Nothing else, I might drive them crawlies out of there. I'll be back.
skill there. Shipwrights that could do that would both work or get few and far between. Definitely a different type of boat. But boy, it's built like a tank. It's got some dents and dings and bangs and wings. So the fella comes in here, he stops by. And he says, hey, man. I said, me? He said, I'm talking to you. Come down here. I said, okay, what you got? He said, hey, man. See that right there? You see that right there? I said, what? That right there? He said, yeah. That generator. I said, I see that generator right there. He said, yeah, you got to fix that generator, man. Why I got to fix that generator? He said, listen up, man. I watch you on that YouTube. I know what you like. You watch me on the YouTube? Yeah, man, I watch you on the YouTube. I know what you like, so you're going to fix the generator right there. I said, now I can fix the motor, the engine, but the generator part, you know, I don't know. He said, oh, yeah, you're going to fix that little motor on that generator. I said, well, I don't know about the generator itself. Sometimes I get the engines running and they still don't power up because the generator's bad. He said, you get the motor going. Let me worry about that. I said, you worry about that? He said, no, I worry about that. I said, well, why should I fix that, that motor and that engine on that generator? He says, look down here. I find that generator in a dumpster. I said, I get it. He said, I had to go in. I said, uh-oh. He said, yeah, man, I had to go in. I said, you had to go in that dumpster to get that generator? He said, I didn't have to go in there to get that generator. Somebody set that generator on the side. I said, okay, so you went in the dumpster. He said, I had to go in because I watched that YouTube. And you're going to fix that generator because here's why I went in. Yeah, see, I watched that YouTube channel. I know what you like. I said, oh. He said, I had to go in. They put that in. Then they set the generator on the side. I said, you had to go in? He said, yeah, you're going to fix that generator. At least the motor part anyway. Then that little cute motor right there. You call them cuties. That's going to be yours. I said, I'll get your generator engine running. He said, that's right, you will. I said, okay. He said, yeah, I'll be back to pick it up. Okay, you remember this little Suzuki four-stroker I was gifted? Um, something I want to print out. When I'm working on these, I don't like to have the air silencer that bolts right here and then goes around over here. I like to see things in here and uh, what you can do is take the air silencer off by removing these two 10 millimeter bolts. They run through everything. The air silencer, carb, and then the plastic spacer to the manifold. And then put these little spacers in there 
to make up for the air silencer being off. You get these little spacers, I get them a lot of times, they'll be on recoil starters. They go through as a, like a little shim for these plastic recoil starter units on many models. But just get you a little couple spacers, I'm sure there's something at the hardware store. So this one's getting better, I still might have to run it a little better. I'm running it on two stroke gas because I don't have any four stroke gas on hand. But this one's been sitting for a while. So you, hey, what are you doing? You don't be running your four stroke on two stroke gas, idiot. Ain't gonna hurt it. Old four stroker been sitting as long as this one has, probably do it some good. Ain't gonna hurt it. Pull the choke and hope for the best. Not bad for a freebie. Um, it, you saw it spit there a little bit. I cleaned the carburetor and my ultrasonic cleaner and blew it all out and everything, but there's a brass plug in there. Actually, on this one, it looks aluminum. I can pull that plug off and adjust it a little bit. But first, before I do that, I want to run it on just pure four-stroke hot test gasoline and maybe take it out for a run and really put it through it and see if it'll just kind of smooth itself out. But she runs pretty good. This is that Suzuki that was missing all the paint. Weren't no primer on this guy. You see how all the paint's missing here, flaking? Don't look like there's any primer on there to me. It needs an oil change, the gear shift hooked up. Different things, you understand. But, she runs pretty good. Um, just been sitting a long time. But, it ain't been sitting as long as this abused outboard. So, this one, this is the Tahatsu, Gesundheit. Um, I had to take the manifold just to get the carburetor off. And then these long bolts that go through everything, I can't get them out. I put a little heat, you can see maybe it's, it's discolored a little bit right there. I put a little heat, but I can't put a lot because this plastic spacer in there will melt, but I've tried a wrench on both of those and I can't get them to budge. So I squirted them with some penetrating fluid. I let them set, but I also called the owner of this motor and I said, look, how much do you want to spend? This thing, can you see the rust all up under, down in there? And then if you look at the fuel pump, 
it's all just, you know, rusty. Them diaphragms are going to be stiff and, you know, the engine oil is going to need to be changed and the filter and the lower gear oil. And I'm just like, how much are you, are you wanting to spend on this motor? The transom bracket down there is completely stuck in that position. Um, the throttle is really stiff on the throttle cables. It's just been sitting for a long time. Everything is stiff, toit. It's toit on it. So I don't know. Um, but before I, I don't even know if I can get that Kaba Rapa off of there. It's so stuck on there. But before I try any further, I'm going to say, look, right now you're into it for one hour's labor. If you want me to keep going, I will, but it's, it's who knows what you're going to run into. And I just think it's fair I give him the heads up before I uh, go any further. So that's where I'm at on the Tahatsu, Gesundheit, and uh, that's where... I'll wait for his call back to go any further on this little puppy. Uh, so, I'll be back. Well, so, we've been getting about one sunny day, and then it clouds right back up and goes to rain. So, trying to get whatever I can get done you know, that needs to be done outside while it's not raining, um, as opposed to engines in my tank. But we did get the copper rape on the little Suzuki 15. Got it all uh, cleaned up and everything. And uh, it still needs a lot of work. The gear shifter, um, primer and paint. Suzuki kind of forgot that step so we'll get that and then now I got a little generator I got to take care of because I want this little cutie right here you want to stay so uh, and she's dirty probably some creepy crawlies up under her hair wake up so um, I got a coat on my uh, bench boards and everything and my Bay Runner skiff and I got some other little repairs I need to do before I can go on a boat ride at that. And I am jonesing to go on a boat ride, so I need to get on it so I can go on a boat ride. Yeah. So I need to do that. So I'm just... Spring is coming. But it's coming slow up here. But uh, it'll get here. And we'll get out and do some fishing and other things. But until the weather gets lit bit warmer we're just gonna have to wait on that so as always that's one more hack from Kodiak and thank you for watching stay tuned more vids are coming on inside outboards with Cody Bass